What's going on YouTube? My name is t -Clem. This is my new channel. Welcome to the first video. Now, I'm a variety streamer over on Twitch. And my primary gameplay comes from Pokemon. But I do play some other things, so expect to see more of that content later on in the channel. But what we're doing today is we're doing a randomized Nuzlocke Pokemon Platinum. Now, everything in this game completely random. Trainers Pokemon, Starter Pokemon, Wild Pokemon. Typings, moves. Everything is random. We could get completely blocked on Route 1 due to something with Wonder Guard. You never know what's going to happen. So, if you enjoy, feel free to like, subscribe, and share this around. This being our first video on the channel, we need to get as much outreach as we can so we can start to blow up. And I will talk more about that in a future video about my personal dreams and aspirations for my Twitch streaming and for my YouTube channel. So, like I said, enjoy the content. Feel free to subscribe if you do. If you don't, completely understandable. But also leave a comment and let me know how I can improve upon this platform, how I can improve my video quality, uh, aside from my, my jank-ass webcam. And, uh, yeah, enjoy the video. There's our laptop, our uh, Nintendo Wii, our old box TV. Haven't seen one of those in a hot minute. This kid, I swear, he barges into your house. He barges into your room as you're just chilling there. Uh, he then starts to freak out, tells you that we gotta go somewhere. He freaks out again because he sees that you have a laptop computer, which he also has one, by the way. Uh, he goes over there, starts messing with your computer, then runs back and says, like, oh, what did I say? Oh, yeah, we're going to go see the professor. Um, if you make me wait, I'm going to fine you more than your entire life is worth. And then the thud. Thud. Let's see what we got to work with. We have Vaporeon, Chimeco, and Graveler. I think it is a very clean-cut choice here to go with Vaporeon. Alright, we're naming the Vaporeon Avalanche. Okay, so our Vaporeon is rock and potentially ice-type. That's actually goaded. Except for the fact that it's weak to a lot of things. But it's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and Rock Blast. And I missed. And it's Fire-type. Uh, let's go ahead and get it trapped in a rollout. Oh yeah. Easy clap. Alright, so the rollouts worked, and we are level 6. Probably level 7. Yeah. Developer comment. Alright. You guys are the devs, I guess. What's the matter, dear? Wow, that's what happened? You're lucky to have met Professor Rowan. Imagine if you didn't. Uh, you guys would have gotten eaten by a wild Pokemon. And I would have just run back home, probably. I mean, like, there's nothing I could do to stop the ADHD that is personified in the rival in this game. So if he wanted to run into the grass, far be it from me to tell him otherwise. Let's actually take a look at what our ability is real quick. So we are pure rock type with sound fruit. And we have physical moves, but low physical attack, which is great. Now let's go get some Pokeballs and get started with our encounters for the early game. Ooh, what can we get for this route? A Pelipper. Okay. What else can we get off this route? Oh, it's just going to show us another Pelipper. Never mind. Taught me how to catch a Pokemon? I mean, I'm pretty sure it's self-explanatory. Ew. Get it out of here. Yeah, no shot. Don just caught a Jinx with full HP. It's good to lower their health more than I did. Yeah, you didn't lower it at all. You got super lucky. Alright, our Route 1 encounter is... A slacking. One shake. Two shake. Three. 
Let's go! Okay. Ice. Uh, it's poison ice. That's two of my favorite types in one. And this thing doesn't have truant, so it's going to have anything is a better ability than truant, really. So, I can't wait to see what ability this thing has. Uh, this, since it's a female, this will be the queen of the team. Name it a queen. What ability does it have? Poison Ice with Serene Grace. Oh my god, that's amazing, actually. It's got Stab Cross Poison. High attack? Yeah, this is busted. Our lake encounter is... Ew. Not a smoochum. What was that? What was that challenge that people did with the cup and their mouth to, like swell their lips up? The the, the something Jenner challenge. Was it the Kylie Jenner challenge? We're naming this thing Jenner. It's got the lips. It's got a TM. Suction cups. I mean, that's okay, I guess. All right, so we are on Route 202 now. I've updated the trainer card. Let's see what our Route 202 encounter is before we start fighting some trainers. A Gliscor. That's actually really, really good. Flinched. One more Bone Club to lower. That does a guaranteed 40 damage. The only thing that can survive that is Avalanche. So we need to catch this thing and we need to catch it now. Come on. You're low yellow, almost red. Come on. One. Two. Three. Oh, thank God. Okay, we're just going to name it Scorpio because why not? The jokes write themselves. And the ability on Scorpio is Illuminate. Which is not great. Um, smooch him. You weren't here long, but you got us to a point where we could install a Gliscor with Dragon Rage onto our team. Rest easy, Queen. I really hope we don't run into any Pokemon with Wonder Guard anytime soon, because if we don't have an answer for it on our team, and we can't stall out with like a healing move or with a mass abundance of potions, we're in big trouble. And we're switching. That was absolutely terrifying there for a second. I had one uh, run over on Twitch, which I'll put a link in the description if you want to go check out my Twitch channel. Uh, I had a run where I had a slacking as, like, the goaded member of my team there, and it died to, I think, a Wonder Guard, like, I don't know, it was something really weak, but it had Wonder Guard and I couldn't hit it with anything on my team. I was trying to wear it down to struggle range, and it just, it just took out my, my slacking in one shot, because whatever typing it was, uh, it had a super effective move that was not its typing. Oh god. Looker's here. Looker is easily the one issue that I have with Generation 4. Like, Generation 4 is the one that I've sunk the most hours into over the years. It's the one that I enjoy playing the most. I just think it's fantastic. Peak Pokemon content. But Looker is just so annoying as a character. Like, the fact that he's not in BDSP made me so happy that I didn't have to deal with all of his crap. And when he showed up in the post-game of Generation 7, I was more than disappointed. Oh, and then there's the Poketch guy, and we have to go around and talk to all the clowns. One. Two. Three. And four clowns. Thank you for giving a 10-year-old a free Apple Watch because you saw him walking on the street. Much appreciated, old man. Alright, and our encounter is... I don't... 
I don't know if we can catch this thing. Now we just need to start throwing Pokeballs. One, two, three, no shot. Oh, you, you can't tease me like that. You can't, that's illegal. Second Pokeball, let's go. One, two, three, Oh, it's really going to be doing this, isn't it? Maybe it wants the Premier Ball. Let's see it. Get the Premier Ball. One. Two. Three. Ah, it just wanted the Premier Ball. That makes sense. I'm going to name you special because you think you are. Too good for a regular Pokeball, my ass. It's got no guard. That's actually insane. If we get, like, low accuracy moves, we just teach him to mute. Alright, our encounter is... Cranny Dose. That's a... Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not mad at that. Fossils? I love the fossils, especially in Generation 4. No, it's just straight poison type. For all my anime nerds out there, you know exactly what I'm doing with this one. Poison with huge pow... Oh my god. This thing's busted! Okay, so, we have trained up the team. Uh, Kamado is still level 5 just because he's a glass cannon and it's hard to switch train on stuff in the grass we've already found. So, what we're gonna do is, we're going to hope that this next area has good Pokemon to train in in the grass, and we're just gonna do it that way. But, we're gonna go ahead and lead with Scorpio and fight the rival. Demonstrate it to me, my boy. Show me how much better than me you are. Oh. I see. And Pidgey, let's go ahead and switch in... Let's go ahead and switch in Mew for Pidgey. Mudshot! Let's go! Let's go ahead and get another encounter. Grind out the trainers on this route. And, uh... After that, we go to Rourke, I guess. Our encounter is... Another Mythical? I think Fionn has a high catch rate, though. A uh, Sludge. A Sky Attack. I don't have anything that's immune to flying-type damage. Yeah, Scorpio. Ow? Oh, it's not that bad. It's nowhere near as bad as I thought. That was a misclick. That was a misclick. Oh, no. Why? Why? Why does my brain no work good? Absolute smooth brain plays here, boys. Alright, so we've grinded all the way up to level 9, and we already have 31 attack. So with an 80 base power stab uh, physical move, we can pretty much one-shot anything, even if it's uh, resistant to poison. From what I can tell, anyway. A Rapidash. Excellent uh, showcase of power here, except for the fact that it's going to be faster than me. Oh, that's, that's fine. Oh my god. Uh, why does it hit like that? Don't kill, don't kill, don't kill, don't kill, don't kill. Oh my god, why is Rapidash like this? Jeez. Yeah, I, I better get close to a level up for that. Good god. Komodo, you need to sit back down for a little bit and let slacking get some XP. Alright, let's see what our gate encounter is. Thank you for Rock Smash, uh, Hiker. You just giving copies of that out to every 10-year-old who walks through the cave? It's kinda sus. Not gonna lie. What do we got? Shell gun. That's that's huge. 
to figure out in advance what type this thing is so I don't accidentally kill it. Okay, it is ground rock with magic guard. Powder snow shouldn't kill. Super effective, maybe, but shouldn't kill. Ah! Uh, I wanted immense! I wanted it! Ah, oh, well. Let's just beat up these trainers and go get the other two encounters before the gym. Moving on. This kid's gonna take us to the gym. We're gonna talk to our rival. He's gonna tell us to go to the mine, but we don't go to the mine. We go north of town. There's a patch of grass up there we can get an encounter in. Then we go to the mine, we get another encounter, and we talk to the gym leader. And then, finally, we come back to the gym. That's our encounter. Let's see it. Give me something good. A Clefairy, it, it's, it might be good. Might be, being the operative word there. Bug type, it's got one of two moves. It's either got dry skin, or it's got tinted lens. Now, it is bulky, so that's a plus. And now we're trapped in and taking residual damage. Get the Pokeball. Stay there. One, two, three. Caught it. Okay. We're good. We're good. Let's see what ability it has. Uh, it doesn't have tinted lens. That's not great. Hopefully whatever we find in, uh, in the mine will be more useful. Let's see what our cave- or our mine encounter is. Something good, please. Balls- Claydol's not bad. Claydol, Claydol's not bad. Let me just beat that into my own head for my own sanity's sake. Claydol isn't bad. Okay, so don't kill. One more. Okay, stop. Okay. Okay. I get it. I wasn't meant to have nice things. That's fine. A little disappointed with our encounters, but ah oh well. What can you do, right? At least we didn't get Chingling. Bonk. Oh, we could have had a Flappy! I love Ampharos! It's like my favorite electric type Pokemon. Yeah, it's a chancy item that boosts critical Marsh Dog. Oh. Marsh Dump would have been amazing. Uh-oh. What? The hell? Nope, get nope, 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 nope. Special, come on out, finish him off. Nope, don't like that. Hell no. Boost your defense all you want, it's not gonna save you from me. Jesus. Thank you for leveling up, special. Yeah, get rid of sand attack, easy. We ain't about them stat change and moves. Only stat we need to change is the enemy's HP to zero. Alright, we are gym ready. We're gonna lead with Commodo. Uh Lumos, we're not gonna we're not gonna grind to level up yet, because I mean like why would we? Actually kinda dookie with, with dry skin, but you know. We'll we'll use it later, potentially. Let's see what this kid has. Leader Landon has a Scun Tank. And it's level 11. Everything in this gym's level 11? That's not good. Oh, this thing's Poison Type 2. Interesting. Holy sh... Um, that's not good. I'm switching to a Ground Type. How did he read that? Oh my god, he's dead. He's gone. 
Oh my god. How did he read that? This is Jim 1 AI. How There's no shot. Get him out of get him out of my face. Get him out of here. We don't need that. Got a negative energy around here. Get it out of here. Special. You really lived up to your name. But in the end, the AI just pulled a fast one on us and we couldn't have been prepared for it if we tried. Rest easy. Let's go get revenge for Mew. Gym trainer number two, what do you got for me? Spinarak? Not the thing you should have thrown out in front of my Kranidos. Swinub, I took out plenty of these before we got to Oraberg. <sighs> it's time for Roar. Welcome. This is the Oraberg Pokemon Gym. I'm Rourke, the gym leader. I'm but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with Rock-type Pokemon. As the gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer. And I'll need to see the toughness of the Pokemon that battle with you. Versus... Webster. You lied about your ne- GOD! <laughs> God Webster sent out Hound out. I'm scared now. I'm- that- that genuinely sh sent shivers down my spine. Oh my god. Fighting ground or fighting steel? Either way, I'm not a fan. Houndour, you are generation two. I know what this is, so I know what to switch into. Fighting steel type. Our ground. Wait, it's not Wonder Girl. I just need to fight, <laughs> switch into something that can heal it. Oh my! It read me and switched into Smoocha. Get it out of here! Get this thing out of here! Not the most honorable way to win, but a Dragon Rage sweep. It'd be worse. It's better than Slash. Oh, it's better than Hyper Fang, because it's got better accuracy, plus Slash has high crit rate. Lantern. That's his ace. Let me switch back into Scorpio for Hound Hour. Let's, let's not say we did. How about that? Oh my god, that does so much damage. We can live two, though. We can live two. Crit. Thank god. Okay. Okay, we won. That crit, we needed that. We would not have survived without that crit. And for Hound Hour, we go back into Scorpio, and we Dragon Rage it into Oblivion. God, that Lantern is scarier than I thought it was. The Flying type with Big Fat. Alright, Hound Hour down. We have officially beaten Roar. For God Webster. God. God Webster's right, he scared me. 
Oh. That was messed up. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. TM76, what are you giving me? Stealth Rock. Is it that? Poison Pass. Oh, it's got 55 accuracy. I remember that move. No. Get out of here. Looker! Why are you here? Have I not obtained a pal pad yet? No, I haven't. I don't want one. I can't use online services on <laughs> Pokemon Platinum Randomized. Alright, let's fight these bull haircut absolute douche canoes. Yeah, go on your old man lecture. And move over so I can fight him. What do they got? God Lawrence and God Bob. Okay. Psyduck and Cact. That's not that scary. Dawn, why do you have an Illuminize? Why do you have that? That's why. Okay. I was going to say, that doesn't hit all, does it? Because I'm pretty sure that kills Commodo. Oh my god. Okay. Works for me. And one shot the side up. Yeah. Uh, the gods have fallen. We've killed three gods so far today. Four if you count Mew, but that wasn't us. That was the little kid from the gym. Counter. Blossom? Not bad. Uh, let's switch in Lumos just to weaken it. Pretty sure it's the only thing that won't automatically kill. Four of time. Interesting. Does this thing have Truant? Watch this thing get Truant. We have a Dry Skin and a Truant. Okay. It's got Palkia and Dialga's signature moves. And Truant. I don't know what to make of this. Switch into Queen so it can tank a hit. It has. Let me get this straight. It has Spatial Ren, Roar of Time, Draco Meteor, and Truant. One, two, three. Dragon. Water. That's just a lot down. We replace our normal ground type Mew with a truant. Dragon Water type Blossom. What's its fourth move? Powder, s Powder Snow. Of course it is. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. That's actually ridiculous. The three strongest Dragon type moves in Generation 4. And Truant. I don't even know what to make of that. That's, that's just ridiculous. The, the luck is so low. Record Sonia sent that Kabuto? Ah, Kabuto's easy. Not very effective, but we still kill. I mean, like, what's gonna stand up to a 
huge power cranny dose with stab. That might. Um. I really wish we had a me right about now. Don't poison, don't poison. Thank god. This is bad. This is bad. I need a crit. I need a crit. Please. Um, I think our only play here is going into Queen and having a mirror match. I can't be poisoned as a poison guy. And this will deal that last bit of damage. That was, that was close. I didn't like that. Ah, Floor Roma Town. Some of the most serene soundtrack possible. Beautiful landscape. And then this little girl. Give me something good, please. Execute. I guess. We're naming it Scramble. Alright. Show me what you got. God Daniel sent out a Magby. Alright, so Magby is Ghost Dark with Illuminate. So it shouldn't be an issue for Except for the fact that it's level 13 and I completely overlooked that. We need to train before we fight Mars. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to end the episode here. Next episode, we're going to go right up here. And we're going to uh, we're gonna do the galactic stuff. And then we're going to go all the way past Gardenia next episode. I've got a really good feeling about this run so far. I mean, we've got... Um, We've got a couple members that are just absolute menaces, and unless something completely tragic happens, I don't see this going wrong. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, and feel free to subscribe, because these episodes are going to be coming out as frequently as I can get them edited down. Uh, I'll also, like I said earlier, put my Twitch in my description of the video, so feel free to go follow over there. I stream two or three times a week, and uh, they're going to have a lot of content that isn't going to go up on the YouTube channel, whereas YouTube's going to have comment that doesn't go up on the Twitch channel. So I'm really going to balance it out, and uh, if you're on both, that means you get the best of both worlds. So feel free to drop a sub here, drop a follow over on Twitch, and turn on those notifications for the next time I post a video. Until then, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic week. And I'll see you guys next time.